Better late than never, here's my unboxing and short first impression video of the newly released iPhone 13 Pro. We'll be looking at its different forms and catching my reactions to it. Since I'm coming from an iPhone SE second generation, I'm used to small phones with a home button. And I really like the concept of small phones. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is the phone that actually makes me transition to a bigger size. I ordered this phone as a rental device from Crover to see if I enjoyed enough to warrant a buy. Because unlike most of the tech YouTube world makes you believe, not everyone is able and willing to shell out 1200 euros for a phone just like that. The iPhone 13 Pro is in Sierra Blue color. The smallest available space is 128GB. The box is in black, which is also new to me. It is a much smaller box and there is no plastic wrapped around it. That's good for the environment. Buying fewer phones overall would be even better. Inside we are greeted with the iPhone itself and I have to say the Sierra Blue is less blue than I actually imagined. I thought it would be, well, more saturated. But I still like the color. It looks like a slightly tinted silver. Then, well, <laughs> there's the camera bump and the cameras themselves. Jesus, this is way bigger than I actually imagined it to be. This is almost one fourth of the iPhone size. I really like the details that I added to the camera. The small blue rings around the lenses themselves in the same color as the border. Speaking of that, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it. The first reaction is that it will definitely be a fingerprint magnet. I like the iPhone 5 aesthetics. I still think this is the best looking smartphone to date. The rest of the box well, it's not very interesting, since Apple removed all the ingredients you had previously. Now there's only a lighting to USB-C cable included. Well, it's fine with me. Back to the cameras once more. Man, they are overlapping the bump. When putting the phone on the table, it is not laying flat. You can actually make it wobble on the table with your finger. <laughs> I think Steve would have been furious about those details. Well, I will configure it now and then we'll get back to the display and the first impressions. So, after configuring it, here are my thoughts about the first impressions with the ProMotion display, a display that can actually refresh up to 120 times a second. I actually <laughs> haven't noticed anything different, either when scrolling in the menus, nor watching a video, nor playing a game. Maybe this is due to me being used to game on a 144 hertz display, but I did not notice it to be any different than what I'm used to with the iPhone SE second generation. Other than that, the screen is gorgeous. The brightness, the color contrast, the HDR content, illustrations especially, games, wow, <laughs> they look just fantastic. It's a really fun oogling at stuff on the display. It's quite a leap in technology comparing it to my older phone. Also, it's very heavy. Maybe this is just me, but it's much heavier than I expected it to be. But it feels good in the hand. It is a well-balanced phone, it's almost usable with only one hand and I still find that to be a very important part of your daily life. What I'm looking forward to is the camera technology and how I can actually use it, especially for filming. I will test that in depth as soon as ProRes for the iPhone is released and I'll try to actually create a commercial with it. I'm not sure if the artificial bokeh is something that I'm looking forward to. But we'll see in the next couple of days when I drop my review of the iPhone 13 Pro here onto this channel. So have a great day, thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Until then, goodbye.